Two North Alabama men who are being prosecuted by the Justice Department for their alleged roles in the January 6 attack on the Capitol are due in federal court Tuesday. Now, the cases of Dylan Harrington of Madison and Joshua James of ARAB are not connected, but both are set for status hearings next week before a judge in Washington, D.C. News 19 Chief Investigative Reporter Brian Lawson joining us now in the studio. So, Brian, where do things stand right now with these two cases? Right, so the Dylan Harrington case is still in the very early stages. He's charged with entering a restricted area, engaging in physical violence in that area, and trying to impede law enforcement. The case involving Joshua James continues to see what they call superseding indictments, which are basically replacements or expansions of prior charges or adding defendants. Now, James is charged with a number of other people. Prosecutors say are part of the Oath Keepers group. And last week, a federal grand jury indicted several people, including James, on a charge of seditious conspiracy in connection with the alleged planning in advance of and carrying out of the attack on the Capitol the day that Congress is certifying the Electoral College votes. Prosecutors allege the group plotted the attack, stored weapons in Virginia, and James, on last January 20th, the day of Joe Biden's inauguration, is quoted as saying, after this, if nothing happens, it's war, Civil War 2.0. Now, regarding the seditious conspiracy charge against James and others, the law describes the charge as conspiring to put down, overthrow, or destroy by force the U.S. government. It can include opposing by force any execution of the law by the federal government, and it can include seizing or possessing U.S. government property. It carries a maximum sentence of 20 years. Now, the original case against James was set for an April trial. We should get an update on Tuesday where the case against him now stands. Christine, Jerry.